What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed that Steel Path video from yesterday. I've been wanting to make that video for a long time now and I just couldn't find the motivation or the organization to put it together but finally I sat down the girlfriend gave the A-OK -okay, and that was enough for me to just go ahead and go through with it and get that thing out there for you so I hope you enjoyed it I hope it helped today I want to talk a little bit about the seven halls of ascension puzzles on Lua sometimes this can pop up as a night wave challenge to complete four different halls of ascension puzzles and this video is going to show you exactly how to do that whether you're by yourself whether you got one teammate three teammates we're going to get through it and you're going to get all the drift mods that come from these puzzles. They are all Exilus mods as well, so they can fit right into that slot next to your aura and help you get a little bit more power, a little bit more range. Most of them cap out at about 15%, but that 15% means a lot to some of these Warframes. So, without further ado, let's get into it. If you enjoyed this content or if this video helped you, as always and as it should be, like and subscribe down below. We'd love to have you join the squad, man. Welcome to Echo Company. Toe the line, baby. Let's get back into the video. So we're going to cover these in alphabetical order. These are all randomly generated within Lua. The only nodes that you're not going to find a puzzle on is the defense. Everything else is fair game. Sometimes it'll spawn zero. Sometimes it'll spawn one. Sometimes it'll spawn up to three and four. My recommendation for these is to go to Grimaldi because the mobile defense has a high probability that the mobile defense spots are going to be at a puzzle. This isn't 100% guaranteed, but it's more often than not that you'll at least get one puzzle out of this. Sometimes you'll get three, sometimes even four, but this is a good place to go. The only one that we had trouble spawning was the speed drift puzzle which is the essentially like a race like a time trial and we wound up going to play-doh which is a crossfire exterminate it probably took about 12 to 13 different times going into this mission and completing it before that speed drift spawn endurance drift power drift and stealth drift i've seen a number of times on this disruption on apollo they are very, very common here. Most of the time, they are where the keys are supposed to go. So if you're in the mood for Axie Relics and picking up a couple Drift Mods to sell for, for Platinum, this is a good place to go. Agility Drift. This one is straightforward. It looks like an organ chamber when you walk into this room. It's a very small circular room. And the rules to this one is once it is started, you cannot touch the floor. But there is a way around that. While on the middle platform, you want to shoot the button on the wall that's directly above. This opens the first two pipes. Jump into either pipe and you'll be shot up. The pipe closes once you're shot to the sky towards the ceiling. Once in the air, aim toward the ceiling and bullet jump. You may not trust this at first and you it may take a couple times to get it down, but trust me, this works and it is very effective because you will land on the loft above the puzzle. This does not count as the floor, so the puzzle will not reset. While you're up on the loft, look for the next button to shoot on the wall that opens the next set of pipes. Once those pipes open, you can free fall or I recommend to aim glide just to softly land because some of the tops of these things will slide you right off the top of them and you'll go straight to the floor and you'll have to start over from the beginning. Once you've landed in the next pipe, it'll shoot you upwards just like the first one. You want to bullet jump, secure your landing on the loft above and continue these steps. Just keep looking for the buttons on the walls that will open the next chamber. Do this until you notice that the top middle pipe, the tallest one of the bunch all the way at the top opens up. This is your gateway to get into the ceiling, which is where the drift mod is. Jump in the middle pipe, and this time just simply jump and hold the jump button. This will guide you straight through the top without any headache. If you try and bullet jump, sometimes you can miscalculate. Once you make it through the ceiling, jump through the space in the wall and secure agility drift. If somehow you've messed up and trying to get through the ceiling, one tip is you can actually use your operator to void dash yourself into the ceiling and snap back into your Warframe and just wall jump your way to the top. Congratulations. Remember, agile, never fragile, baby. Co-action drift. This can be done solo with specters and your operator or at least one team member. I recommend doing one teammate. Me and my girlfriend actually did this and she very patiently 
help me out to finish some of these today so I definitely got to give her her props without her a lot of these videos wouldn't even exist entering this room you want to approach the glowing platform and once you step on this platform pieces of the puzzle will start to shuffle once they're done shuffling you'll see another platform directly in front of you that's also glowing if you leave the platform that you're on this will bring all the pieces back and that space will close so this is where your teammate comes in or your operator so once you or your partner jump to the platform in front of you this will conclude essentially the first phase of this test this will lift the chandeliers on all four corners and the pillar in front of you one teammate will stand on top of these pillars one by one while the other goes through the caves in the walls and stands on those platforms in each of these walls there are two platforms there's one directly upon the entrance follow these hallways they will drop you down into a lower section there's also a platform down there you will both do this on all four corners of the center pillar once all of these platforms are finished You'll notice on the bottom there are four plates that now lead you into the bottom of the pillar in the center of the room. Within this section there are four platforms to stand on. You and your partner can plant your warframes on two of the platforms and then pop into operator mode. Go to the other two platforms which will open the ceiling above you. If you have four people in your squad obviously you can just stand in your warframe. Bullet jump through and secure coaction drift. Congratulations team player. Cunning drift. This can be done solo or with teammates. So long as all the teammates know how this test works, it'll be pretty painless. But if you even have one person that doesn't know what's going on and they are distracting the boss and making him go around in circles and go to the middle and then go here and go there, it can actually take quite a long time. So make sure that your team understands how this puzzle works. If not, just tell them to stay away and go kill other people. The only rule to this is don't die. On each side of this room are valve caps. Shoot these to drain the surrounding moat and spawn the orb boss. It will not attack you despite it being spawned until the highlighted platform is stood upon. Take this time to shoot the caps off all four corners of the pillar floor to raise the platforms. Step on the highlighted platform and this will start the cunning drift test. The boss usually focuses on one person. You want to lead this boss to the back of the platforms and time your jump to avoid his blast. This is where he can be distracted if somebody doesn't know what they're doing and they're trying to melee him or jump on top of him or whatever some of these crazy people do. This is where you want to tell them to just go ahead and peace out, homie. If you timed your jump perfectly, the boss will shoot the pillar, he will retreat back to the middle, and he will do one of two things. He will either start shooting purple clouds that will do proc damage, or he'll do a spinning vacuum to try and suck you into the middle. Either one is pretty avoidable. Once that is done, retreat back to your pillars and have him shoot the remaining three. Once he's shot each of the four pillars, this will conclude the boss fight. You'll follow the opening in the floor and secure Cunning Drift. Congratulations, Boss Slayer. Endurance Drift. This can be done solo if you have adaptation or a really, really tanky frame, but it's definitely easier with teammates. The rules to this one, fill the water pillar before the time expires. In this room is a noticeable carousel. In the middle, take time to shoot the chandelier in the adjacent room to block one of the lasers, and you'll understand why once you see how this thing starts. There are also rising platforms on the balconies that are above the test that other teammates can trigger to block other lasers during the test as well. Once any member of the team steps a foot into that carousel, the test will begin and the time will start. The carousel will fill with lasers and one person must stand in the center of all that damage. While this button is stood upon, water will fill in the giant pillar close by. If you have adaptation, you can mostly withstand all this damage that's being applied to you. If you don't have adaptation, you can swap out with teammates, heal up while they take damage in your place, and then once it's time for them to jump out, you can hop back in. Once the water reaches the top in the pillar, you will be lowered to the bottom, make your way through the tunnel, and secure endurance drift. Congratulations, baby, you're unkillable. Power drift. This is one of the easiest and most straightforward tests there is, and I think one legendary Kenjineer said, the real test of this test is just knowing that it exists in the first place. The rules of this one, make sure between you and your teammates that you have 200 energy total. In this room are four golden plates on the floors with a mystic decoration on the wall. Simply stand on these golden plates while the decor drains 50 energy from you. Do this twice on the east side and twice on the west side plates. The staircase in the middle of the room will open. Go down and secure power drift. Congratulations and drink some Gatorade to refuel. Speed drift. 
this can definitely be done solo or with teammates. It really doesn't matter. The rules of this one is one, put your running shoes on. And if you really want to get through this one quick, choose Limbo to ignore all the obstacles within the time trials. That's insane, right? Limbo has a purpose. A room filled with lasers and two thumpers. As you approach this area, you want to shoot the button on the wall to activate this test. On either side of this test are stairs that lead to a door. One door will have a time trial with a bunch of thumpers. One door will have a time trial with iced floors. For the thumper side of the time trial, you can fail as many times as you want. One tip is to do a dry run and shoot the tops of the thumpers so that when you run the full test, they won't affect your run time and you won't get knocked down. Once you're ready, run as fast as possible before the walls close, reach the end and shoot the button above the exit. You're done. The pillar in the middle where all the lasers were will start to rise about halfway to the ceiling. For the ice floors time trial, try and bullet jump and roll in the air for more velocity, avoiding the rising floors. That's the trick to this one is to cut corners quick, but avoid those floors that are going to open. We all know they're there, but we still run into them. But don't worry, you can't really fail this test. Reach the end before the walls close. Shoot the button at the top of the door at the exit. The pillar will continue to rise all the way to the top of the ceiling. Make your way to the top and secure speed drift. Congratulations, high speed. By the way, that's my girlfriend's favorite ride in the game, Stealth Drift. This can be done solo or with teammates, and there's going to be a couple different variations of this one because this one is highly exploitable and one of the easiest to get, which is probably why it's not going to sell very much, but it is part of the drift set and you definitely want to have your hands on at least one of these. The rules to this one, respect your time, man. In this long room is a giant platform. Once stepped on, lasers will fill this room like a Pink Floyd laser light show. The yellow ones won't affect your test at all, but the blue ones will fail your test, so make sure to avoid them. Make your way through the long room, through the door, and reach the glowing platform on the other side. This will drop you down to the bottom to get you stealth drift. But man, this isn't how Sam Fisher would have done it. Go to the end platform in your Warframe, and then hop out and leave your Warframe on that platform. Run your operator all the way to the beginning to start the test. Your Warframe will trigger the ending despite you not being in it and go secure the bag. If you have a teammate, one of you can stand waiting on the end platform. The other triggers the start of the test. Boom. And congratulations, man. I didn't even notice you did it. As a bonus and part of the Lua puzzles is the Octavia chassis and a 12.5% chance for built forma. Yes, 12.5% chance to get built forma every time you run into this puzzle. So it behooves you when you see it, just go ahead and do it, man, because 12.5% chance is a pretty good odd when it only takes you about 30 seconds to do this. You'll come across a room with a very distinct music track. In the middle is a platform with a console and some buttons on the floor interact with the console and watch the pattern this pattern is always the same but the console must be initiated to start this test parkour your warframe to the corresponding buttons in the same pattern kind of like simon says once you've done that it will repeat the sequence back again and spawn octavius chassis on top of that pillar in doing this this will also spawn a rare oricon container with a 12.5 percent chance to award built forma if you go back to the console that you started that puzzle with, head left and you'll see the golden container surrounded by Ghost of Christmas Past. Destroy that. Good luck, baby. Welcome to the big leagues. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to do the seven Lua puzzles with a bonus Octavia chassis and a 12.5% chance of Forma. I hope this video helped you guys. A lot of people seem to enjoy these puzzles and it's surprising to me the amount of people that started maybe after these puzzles came about and don't even know they exist or have never done them before. So if you see this pop up on Nightwave, don't be afraid of it anymore. Come back to this video if you need to and secure the bag, man. Get those Nightwave credits, get you some Oricon Catalyst or Reactors, get you a nice new helmet, whatever the case is, I know you're going to kill it. So y'all have a good rest of your day, man. I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.